Senate will be in order. Ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, the Sergeant of Arms Honor Guard is composed of the dedicated and outstanding personnel of the Washington National Guard. They will now present the colors. And I don't want to do anything uh, that would put people in harm's way. At the same time, there can be overkill. And the fact now that the people who are the inherent part of political power, not only can they not get into this building, but there is an eight foot fence that goes all the way from the legislative building down past the Supreme Court. So they can't even gather on the steps of the legislative building. And uh, I'm a very strong admirer of uh, President Ronald Reagan. And on his birthday, I usually make a few remarks. I've got my Ronald Reagan socks on today. And I remember on June 12, 1987, he said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. And I say today, Governor Inslee, tear down this wall. What we're doing today, Madam President, is we are removing that access to democracy. It makes no sense that we can go to Target safely, we can go to Costco safely, we can go to many places safely. As you can see here, we're meeting safely here today. We're adhering to social distance guidelines. We're adhering to the mask wearing requirements. There is a way to allow public participation safely. This denial of the access to democracy is simply un-American. But when we consulted with public health authorities, both at the state and local level here in Thurston County, it is clear that today, in early January 2021, it is not safe for members of the public to gather at the Capitol, and it's not safe for staff and members of the legislature to gather at the Capitol in person. So uh, while I mourn uh, the changes we have to make, I think none of us want to be in this place. I can tell you this mask is really uncomfortable right now. I wish I didn't have to wear it. I wish I could sit at my regular desk. I wish there wasn't uh, plexiglass between you and I. I wish we were not in the middle of a global pandemic, but we are, and we have to follow the best guidance we have uh, from the experts that we have in this state. And that is the reason we've crafted the rules in the way that we have. But in these hard times, hope is on the horizon. Hope because of vaccines, hope because public, public health workers never rest, hope because people are wearing masks, social distancing, and applying innovation to every single thing they do. Hope because our representative democracy was put to the test of sedition last week and resisted it, showing our weakness but more importantly, our strength. Our job for every minute of the next 105 days is not just to keep hope alive for the people of our great state, but to make hope a reality. So let's start working right now and all session long to deliver hope and turn these hardest of times into a recovery that is equitable, that is inclusive, and that is sustainable. Let's get to work right now.